Hi, my name is Sammy. Um, I am born and raised in San Diego, California. I'm currently residing in Barrio Logan. Um, my places of work, I'm constantly working at quite a few spots. I would love to honor the main spot that I am working at right now, which would be Chicano Park. Um, currently, I am an independent contractor for them. And with that being said, I am part of the Chicano Park Mural Restoration. Um, so currently in that mural restoration, we are honoring our people, honoring the folks that fought for the park, um, and preserving what was once already there. Um, there are quite a few new heroes. So I consider the person that has been one of the most influential women in my life would be um, my nanny Charlotte, um, therefore known as my grandmother. Um, I've, we've built a lot of grassroots, uh, specifically even down here in the community of Barrio Logan. Um, she's born and raised down here. Uh, she was born off of Kearney. Um, she has her own struggles and background between that. Uh, that was back in 1937. Um, after, that, after that, she was a part of Our Lady Guadalupe when the church first came around. Um, that is like a nationwide staple now, especially down here in Barrio Logan. Uh, my grandmother inspires me um, due to her strength that she's had. Um, that also led from her upbringing, um, her courage, her determination to become what she became and, you know, carry our long living legacy of our family. What it's meant to me to be a part of the Chicano Park Mural Restoration has meant absolutely everything. Um, I definitely don't. I definitely would have never thought that I would be here where I'm at now in life, um, to be standing next to people that I honor and look up to. Um, shout out to Patricia Cruz, um, shout out to Sina, shout out to so many endless women, empowering women um, and people that have kept me on under their way to be able to be a part of making history. I originally did this piece for, an, uh, for quite a few art shows. I think that one was mainly woman-based. Uh, I did kind of a representation of myself. Uh, yes, there's teardrops going down my face. <laughs> uh, with that being said, uh, they always call me sad eyes since I was a kid. That kind of goes with uh, you know, Instagram, the platform name that I've given myself now. Um, and it's mainly represented a lot. Uh, the words of advice, to, um, to push and to get the youngsters being creative. Um, I would say to break out of your own comfortability. You know, it takes a lot to uh, make yourself uncomfortable to eventually be comfortable. Um, you know, there was a lot of times of me missing out on a lot of opportunities. And even over the past years as being a grown woman, it's taken me a while now to get out of my comfort zone and to honor myself and to, you know, um, honor the people that have surrounded me, influenced me, and yeah, get yourself out of your comfort zone and do the damn thing. Um, what Up Where We Like keeps me caffeinated, um, motivated, got me through endless amount of projects of what we just spoke about, of my places of work, is got to be the cold brew. I'm a sucker for the cold brew. Um, all black, no sugar, no cream. Um, it's very bold, it's very straight to the point, uh, kind of like how I am, so. <laughs>